Hey, what's up everybody? We are out here at Universal Orlando Resort, Universal Studios, Florida. We're gonna try checking these houses out. It's a hot one today. That's why I got my headband on. Ooh, let me tell you, it's in the 90s. But as you can look in the background there, there are some clouds coming, so that might cool it down a bit. But we're gonna head on in. Universal did extend their hours out. This is the weekend of the 26th and 27th. Their hours this weekend are 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. So good deal. It's about six o'clock right now. There are no virtual line queues. Everything's a standby, including the houses. So let's go give it a shot. In line for Bride of Frankenstein, it is a 20 minute wait. So we'll time it and see what happens. Not too bad. Everybody's social distancing, so. Got a little water. So we're good to go. All right then. We'll see where we're at here in a few minutes. They have put one of the, your standby line here it is located in one of the sound stages also. Just a real quick loop, not bad. And from the last time I recorded this, it was less than a minute and we started moving so not bad let's keep it going Bride of Frankenstein so good less than a 10 minute walk on perfect so good the smells inside the house how loud it was the aesthetics it's horror nights I love it let me go see what Revenge of the Tooth Fairy is Revenge of the Tooth Fairy is a little bit more of a weight not too bad but at least some of the standby line is indoors so and everybody's social distance so it looks like there's more people but there really isn't not too bad though well, I've roughly been waiting about 10 to 15 minutes not too bad and I'm actually thinking that eh, Maybe another 10 minutes and we'll be in there and done. So there's the exit right there. Rip Ride Rocket and the back of Jimmy Fallon. But it is Horror Nights. I love it. There is Hogwarts Express. Heading backwards. With a few clouds in the background. and we're getting ready to go in. All in all, 15, 20 minute wait. Not too bad. Bride was a lot shorter, but we'll take it. So excited. Can't wait to see this one. Just got out of Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. It was good. It was good. Not as good as Bride of Frankenstein lives, but I take it. Anything with Horror Nights right now, it's still awesome. You know? I'll go through it a couple more times, maybe another time tonight, because they are open till 9 o'clock tonight, so maybe I'll see something different. Anyways, I think I'm going to try getting getting back into Bride of Frankenstein Lives. i got to look at the size of the line, but if not, I want to head over to the Tribute Store. I haven't been out there yet, so stay tuned. Saturday night. This is it. This is the line, the standby queue line or standby line for Return of the Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Nobody. Another walk on. Maybe 10 minute wait max. Five minutes is walking. I think I'm gonna get on it again. This is awesome. I really like this. Not bad at all. And you know, the crowds are pretty decent out here today. A lot of families though, a lot of families will not go into Horror Nights. But that's fine. That leaves the houses for me. So here I go again, once more. Now it is a posted 30 minute wait, but I can tell you right now, that is not a 30 minute wait. It's about a 10 minute wait. So we shall see. Now one thing to point out, that group over there going through the queue line that is the virtual queue line so they had a virtual pass earlier which is understandable you know 
they took the time to get into the app they waited around waited for their time to show up and there you go they're in and they do get to go to the front of the line but with this line there is nothing not a bad wait at all and I love how when you're in the house you do social distance and here we are less than three minutes later there is the entrance it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a wait here so I'll take it probably a less than a 10 minute wait so we will definitely do it Ride of Frankenstein lives second time around perfecto they were doing a cast chain so you saw everybody in their dark cloaks hoods on in a single file line going in through the back entrance so yeah awesome stuff let's continue well i think i'm gonna head out I'm done with the tribute store picked up a few goodies and yes this does remind me of horror nights this is a little bit darker now so we are good and got a few treats got the vegan brownie skull and some of the sour gummy beaten hearts once more the bride of frankenstein lives as a pretty much walk on unheard of if this was a normal regular horror nights so Let's call it the night. I'll head out here tomorrow. Depending on how I feel. But anyways, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. I'm new to this. I'm gonna get the channel started really good. Click subscribe if you'd like more, and I'll try to get videos out once or twice a week. Take it easy.